This tutorial is going to allow us to make an object such as a ball and put it on the screen on the stage and then we're going to write the action script that allows us to move it up and down with the up and down arrows left and right with the right left arrows so there's your x-axis your y-axis and if you press 2 you can have it go on the angle so this tutorial is going to allow us to do all that We're going to start this part of the tutorial by opening Flash, in my case is Flash 8, under File or however you want to do it. Open up a new Flash document. There it comes. And I'm leaving the stage 550, 400, only that as it is. And now we're going to make a movie clip. The movie clip will hold the ball and we'll bring that ball back to the main scene here. So down here is where I pick up my symbols and select movie clip, make sure that is, and call it, in this case, ball. And I underscore and then movie clip I just code them to keep track. There's my movie clip. I want the ball. The ball is made using this tool here, this oval tool. This will be the perimeter of the ball and this will be the interior color. If I hold the shift down, I get a nice round ball. Okay, return to the main scene. Now we got to set up some simple variables and the variables are going to allow us to manipulate values to change the position, the X and Y position of the movie clip. So I go to I have a, a program here. I'm a slow typer, so what I'll do is I'll cut and paste them in, and then I'll explain them once I get them into our, our program. So I want to pick up some information here. I want to pick this information right up here. Copy that. Okay, we'll explain that to you. This is going to call my variables. I double click on this layer and call it variables. And I'm going to paste them in here where you your action goes and paste them in here and there's my two variables I have a global both global variables that means they can be manipulated tested changed on any timeline they're not restricted to the main scene they're not restricted to a movie clip that they can be used by all and I'm taking the and call on this one the X variable for my right left positioning the right variable the, the, the Y variable for my up and down and I picked half the stage so this should center the ball okay this should center the ball the next thing I want to do is bring the ball in so I'm going to make a new layer uh, insert a blank keyframe and this is going to contain my ball so I'm going to put my ball drag it up here boom there's my ball okay and I'll show you how the coding actually will put that into the center and we need, if we're going to write action script on it, it has to be given a name. It's a movie clip, we know that. And I'm going to call it ball. There it is, there's my ball. Okay, so this layer I'm going to label as being ball. And my action script is going to be on this layer. Both of them right there. Okay, so I'm going to pick that action script over here. This is the, 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 the main part of it. I want to copy all this and then I'll paste it in and explain it to you. Copy it, put it right here and paste it in. Okay. So what this says is there's a there's an open an open parentheses here. I call them brackets, a big bracket. It says if a key is down, and the key that they're talking about is this case the left arrow. So this is basically saying if the left arrow is down I want the ball to move left therefore my global variable which is my X variable for my, my, my right left I'm going to take whatever it is and subtract 15 from it thus it will move to the left and as long as I hold this left arrow down 
the ball will in this case will keep going left. I have the similar thing for the right key, but in this case I'm adding it so it moves to the right. I have similar for the Y axis, the up key, the down key, and again 15 and 15. These values 15, 15, and 15 plus and minuses, they can be any value you want. The smaller they are, the slower the ball will move. The higher they are, the quicker the ball will move. And finally in this particular part of the action script is this little section here that says ball period, ball dot, that says the movie clip ball. It's X position. The movie clip ball, it's Y position. Whatever this is, whatever this variable is, and we're changing it up here, up here we're changing it, that's going to be where the ball is. Okay, so let's see what we got now. If I test my movie, I see the movie just flashes because what's happening is, is it's being told here to move on and off, on and off. And if I try to move it, it'll move, but it'll jump right back. See, it's, well, try to move it up, try to move it down. So we got to do something to tell it not to go back to here. We just want it to go right in here. So we're going to add another layer right here top here insert a blank keyframe and I'm calling this my loop layer okay and in here all we're doing is going to do is pick that up pick the action script up for that one there go to and play and I want to go to back to number two so now when it first starts it'll jump into this frame pick up its its XY parameters here it will sit and wait and as we press the keys it'll go back and forth like this and let's see if this works okay, let's pull it up here so you can see it there's left and right left and right up and down and if I press on both it doesn't do anything both it does it but if I press both axes a left and a right it can go 90 degrees 45 that way 45 that way so you now have full control of the ball Okay, now let's go back to the action scripts. This will be down at the bottom of the screen in the in the information. This will be all typed out for you down at the bottom of the screen, so you can just cut and paste it. So will this. That's very simple. I'll scroll through this really slow. Just in case you're trying to get it off the screen, which will be diff kind of difficult. Okay. And what it says is open parentheses if open bracket key dot is down, open bracket key dot left capital letters close close, open another parentheses underscore global variable global dot. And that's value, and I think you'll be able to do that. 